Murphy here, how you all getting on today? Right, so it's been a while since we've had an eBay loot video. I've been saving up all my money for this little thing called my wedding. So that's been a massive priority for the last few months. But this, it's all done now, everything was excellent. Uh, it's time to get back to normal. And uh, yeah, another eBay loot video. So it's I have it has been a while since I've bought anything off eBay. But that hasn't stopped me from keeping one eye on things that I might be able to get at a cheaper price. Well, what did I get off eBay this time? Well, I managed to get my hands on a brand new sealed box of Stormcast Liberators. The box isn't sealed anymore. I opened it up to make sure everything was in it and everything was proper and everything. But it was brand new when it came. It was sealed perfectly and all that. And before I get to the price on how much I paid for this and how much I got this for, which it was a steal, I'll have a close look at the box and we'll have a bit more discussion about it. Right, so who are the Liberators first? As far as I can tell, they're like the big heavy hitter guys of the Stormcast Eternal. Well, the war in the starters that come out anyway, because they're the ones I have. Uh, they have like the big heavy weapons, you have your two-handed hammers, your one-handed hammers, the big shields. So uh, I think these guys are kind of like your, I don't know, Terminators maybe, with close combat weapons type of thing. But with this box, you get different choices, which is what I like. I, I'm a bit iffy with Stormcast. Some of them are okay, once they're kind of, I don't know, they're a bit too static. Like look at this, this one. Some of the poses are okay, this guy's okay. I don't know, some of them are, I just, they're, they're a bit love and hate with me. Uh, like I don't like this one. Two single handed weapons, two single handed uh, hammers, not really my thing. Uh, this one, the po I like the pose, it's a bit nicer. But the swords are what I love with this box. Um, and kind of a nice thing that I didn't really spot until I looked at the sprue earlier on. I didn't even spot it here. To have these smaller daggers as well. So there's loads of options with this box. You have your uh, kind of your long sword, your two-handed sword, your dagger. You can obviously mix and match these with the shields. Uh, put a sword with a hammer maybe. Um, yeah, really nice options. This is definitely going to be one of those boxes where there's so many bits left over. Now I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to have a close look at the sprues on these. But before I do that, let me talk about how much I got these for, which is, which is literally incredible. Um, I was looking for this box when I seen the listing on eBay. I went to the Games Workshop site, and I this is how I found out that this is like an older box, an older version. I think it's like the same models but different size box because on the site. They're not five man uh, minis, they're ten man, and it's 45 euro. So when I was looking around, I could not find the five man box of this anywhere. Um, but I did manage to find a copy of it, or a box of it, in my local shop that sells GW stuff. Now their price on this exact same box is 45 euro. It's either 45 or 40. I'm pretty sure it's 45, but it still is pretty expensive. Um, especially since a 10 man box is the same price uh, but I managed to get this for 5 euro which is th that's like a euro per model that's that's incredibly cheap and um, that is like one of the biggest bargains I've had so far um, it was 12 euro including delivery even with that it's still an incredibly good price so um, yeah definitely a bargain definitely one of these things that you kind of wish you find on eBay all the time but this is why I always keep one eye on eBay um, at all times so uh, let's open this up and have a closer look at the sprues all right so first off you get your bag of bases uh, I'm pretty sure they're 40 mil doesn't say on the box, but I'm pretty sure they're 40 mil. Uh, your decal sheet, which is like probably the smallest decal sheet I've ever seen. Your instruction book. Now, this is where I got the idea of mixing and matching. Well, this is where I, I started to see you can mix and match pretty much any weapons you want. Because here it has them with paired warhammers, uh, warhammers and shields. Here you have them with the war blades, which are the swords and the daggers and war blades with sigmarite shields so i when i get around to building these i'm probably going to go with this one the war blades and sigmarite shields i love these guys with swords i've always preferred swords over hammers hammers are okay the double like i might put one guy with the two-handed where is he i put one guy with the two-handed hammer which is pretty nice but the rest of them are going to be going with swords so we have two sprues 
tons and tons of pieces on it. Let's have a look at this one first. Let's start here. Let's get a closer look at it. There we go. So we start off with you have your shield, or not your shields, your hammers, which are full of detail. I do like them. There's nothing wrong with the hammers. They're fine, but I don't know. I just, I just, they just bug me sometimes. Sometimes I like them, so sometimes I don't. Uh, here we have these, which I only can imagine they're like prayers, Sigmar prayers, something like that, something like a purity, purity seals that you see on Space Marines. Uh, you have some of the body parts here, which by the looks of it, you might be able. These might be pretty handy for converting up uh, if you wanted to. The arms kind of in their static pose there, but at least a lot of the weapons, well, some of the weapons, a lot of the hammers aren't, which you can see. Oh no, these are the hands for the shields. So you have no hands stuck to the shields, so which is kind of cool. And um, you can kind of separate the shields if you want to use them for something else. And here you have a small little dagger, kind of you can stick on their hip a little bit. Now here's the other daggers. These are called war blades, which I think is the name for the big swords as well. I like these. I really like these kind of small, uh, like hand-to-hand -hand combat little blades. Really nice looking. Uh, everything else along here is pretty standard. Here you can see like a like a like a torso with some of the detail on the robes and the chainmail type of part. Really, the legs looking really nice. Really fine legs there. Uh, pretty much the same stuff on the sprue. The only thing that's kind of different along here is uh, the, you have kind of like your champion's head here. Kind of a bit of a longer hair part coming out, which is pretty nice. The shields are all the same. Well, these five are all the same. So you get five shields. Uh, are they all the same? No, they're not. There's a slight little difference on one or two. This kind of design around the archway here just has a few little spikes. This one has like a few kind of like lightning bolts going across it. You can see it here. Um, and then obviously you have like your your champion shield here with a bit more detail on it. You have like Sigma written across it, I think. A um, bit more detail into his one. So the second sprue. Here we get ton of a ton of chest pieces, breastplates and all that. So here you get to, get to see a couple of heads on the other side. Which you do get a couple of these left over. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And another nine. So by, by a quick count, there's nine heads. So there's like at least four left over. The shoulder pads, which which like it might sound funny but they're really nice because the ones in the starter kit well the very first starter kit there was like a big mole line going right through the center of them so these ones are nice and clean they're really nice looking here we have some more legs or some arms the legs are across here in separate pieces which is really nice if you want to convert stuff up uh is there anything on this side before i flip it over the double uh the two-handed hammers here, which is really nice looking on the sprue. I think, I think I finally figured out what I think I like about the Stormcast is when you see them in pictures, they're okay. See them in the flesh, in the well, in the plastic, like you're making them or you're holding them or you're painting them, you do start to appreciate them a lot more. I think. Here you have the two-handed uh, war, uh, war blade. Was it? What was the name I was giving out? War blade. Yeah, really nice looking sword. I love the bottom part here with the spikes coming out. Absolutely daily. Here you have, kind of have like the normal version of the sword here all coming along so you get one, two, three, four, five of them. So even if you wanted to, if you wanted to just have like one in each hand you'd have a few left over as well. And then the rest of the pieces are kind of like pretty standard. You have your Stormcast uh, legs, your their bodies and all that. A few more of them prayers. I think that's it for the sprue then. Everything's kind of like pretty basic on the sprue. There's no like kind of... Little extra spare bits to put on bases or little kind of fiddly parts to put on it. But, um, you know, that's what they're for. You get these done like that. Uh, really nice looking sprues. There we go, I zoom out. Uh, all the pieces look super smooth, really detailed. Um, you get your little uh, transfer sheets, just in black and white. Uh, the one thing I wanted to get for these, oh, I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, that's all that's in the box, and uh, yeah, really nice looking pieces. So that was my eBay loot video for the Stormcast Eternals Liberator box.
Really nice looking box, very expensive to buy, but not for me. I managed to get it really cheap for five euro on eBay, which is always why well, I always look on eBay for stuff. Um, I probably would have never bought these because I'm not too fond of Stormcast. I have a lot of Stormcast because I have two starter sets, but um, once you have a look, like I said earlier, once you have them in your hand and you're looking at them and you're painting them, and you're, you can appreciate them a bit more, they look a lot nicer. Um, one of the things I wanted to do for these was get, if you guys remember, there was like an expansion box that came out for these with different shields and I had like, I think like halberds or spears, but the shields were round and I really wanted to get them, but they're unav unavailable now, you can't get them anymore, which is a pity. You can get them on eBay, but they're really expensive. But uh, yeah, probably one of my better eBay loot finds in a long time. Um, as I said, I haven't had a chance to get on eBay a whole lot lately. We had the whole wedding thing going on, so that was uh, that kept us all pretty busy for a while. But hopefully, I get a few more eBay loot things up pretty soon. But uh, I'm really happy with this box now that I had a proper look at it with the sprues. Uh, I'm looking forward to building them up and everything and probably painting them sometime in the future. I have no plans yet, but down the line I will. So if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Make sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this a good find? Uh, what's your thoughts on a 5-man squad of these versus a 10-man squad maybe? Um, let me go, let me know, let, <laughs> let me, bleh, let me know in the comment section below. And once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.